we're here. Ruins and charms that you have crafted from seven days ago are now available in the Axie Infinity Marketplace. That means you can now purchase runes and charms from other players that have placed their own runes and charms in the marketplace, bring them into your account, and equip them into your own axes. Or you can take your own runes and charms from your account, bring them into the Axie Infinity Marketplace through your own in wallet, and either sell them for cryptocurrency or gift them to your friends via their Ronin address. And that's what we'll be talking about in this video. Boom. Welcome everyone to Ruthless Search Gaming. Let's jump right to it. Let's talk about runes and charms in the Axie Infinity Marketplace. Let's go. Boom. Here we are. Marketplace.axieinfinity.com. Press on Marketplace. Standard axes load up. We do have a few new tabs though. We've got runes, we've got charms. Runes, let's look at the current pricing of, for example, Bloodlust. Just head on over. If players have put Bloodlust runes for sale, you'll see it here. And here we go. Bloodlust is there. This is a range from cheapest to highest. So the top one is the cheapest and we can see it's at 0.129 weath or 208.53 US dollars is the cheapest. The most expensive is 0.14 weath or 227 US dollars. We're not going to buy Bloodlust just yet. For the purpose of this video, let's buy a bird charm. Let's head on over to charms. You can filter this by class or by name. Let's filter it by charm. Uh, bird and then bird's charm of focus. We're not gonna buy that. We're gonna buy bird's charm of power 2 So head on over to bird's charm of power 2 You'll see the cheapest listed at 22 US dollars 0 0.014 weath I believe we've got the budget for this so press on buy if it's the first time you'll be asked for a bit of approval here from Ronin just uh, accept that but if not you'll see the buy now button press on that and you'll be able to confirm this if you do that's it that's how you buy a bird's charm of power 2 the only thing is that is not in game just yet that is only in your ronin wallet you now have to put this bird's charm of power 2 into the game and how do you do that first head on over to the origin portal press on dashboard on the bottom left press on origin portal you'll see your in-game assets these are everything in your account in the client while in wallet assets are the charms and runes that you have only in your ronin wallet so if we hit the refresh button the bird charm should show up here and there it is bird's charm of power 2 is right there let's have a quick look at how to do that press on bird's charm of power you'll see here deposit that means you can deposit Bird's Charm of Power. You can deposit multiple things at once if you wanted to. But for now, let's deposit a Bird's Charm of Power too. And if you see here, you can remove this if you've got multiple, but we'll be depositing one. It will cost you Ronin, which is fine with us. 0.001 US dollars is okay. Press on confirm. And just like that, the Bird's Charm of Power 2 will be brought into the game transaction submitted successfully let's have a look though first in here if you see here we do not have the bird's charm of power just yet this is quantity 2 that is our current inventory what's gonna happen is that bird's charm of power 2 will be added now into this client but not just yet two things to take note first is it should vanish from your in wallet asset and second, it should be inside your in-game asset at this point. And here we go. Let's see if it is going to be available. Let's hit the refresh button. And it's gone from your in-wallet asset. Quite exciting, which means it will be in here now. It should be right there and now times three. It's not showing up here in your client. What you have to do is close that client. And hit that play button again you have to reboot the app so that the collection refreshes itself but at that point our previously two bird charm of power should become let's have a look charms filter by bird and then there you go you've got three now and that is how we're able to purchase 
Bird's Charm of Power from the marketplace and bring it into the game, which is quite exciting. Now let's move on to how we will take a charm or a rune from the game, bring it into the marketplace for sale or for gifting to a friend or anyone with a ronin address of your choice. Like for example, let's head on over to the beast. We want to sell a beast charm of power one. Okay, take note of that. Let's head on over to the same portal. Let's just refresh everything just to make sure it's clean and green. And then here you go. Beast Charm of Power is an in-game asset. If you press on withdraw and press on withdraw here, you'll be able to pull this from the in-game into the in-wallet asset. Uh, an important thing to note though is that it costs AXS. It's not free to bring runes and charms from your in-game assets into your wallet into your ronin wallet so that is quite interesting but for example if we wanted to purchase this you just press on perch on withdraw and that should bring your asset if you press confirm into your in wallet asset we're not going to do that because we already have one for the purpose of this video and we don't really want to do it again why because if you see if you withdraw this, it costs 3 US dollars. But when we check the market price, it is 4 US dollars, which means we lost 3 US dollars to gain 1 US dollar to sell a Beast Charm of Power, which is not the best value. I think it's better to stay in your inventory and not get that $1 gain. So in truth, the value of this is $1. It is okay. But I think that one dollar, that one dollar is better used as equipment. So we're not gonna do that. Instead, for example, we pressed that, and it is now in your in wallet asset. It's here. What do you want to do? How do you then sell or gift this beast charm of power? There's no buttons in here. You can just deposit and withdraw. So what do you do? Head on over to that marketplace again. Click on the charm of choice. So for example, we want beast charm of power one. So Head on over here. And now we'll be in this section. Uh, which we saw earlier to buy. But we're not going to buy anything. We'll just take note of the cheapest price though. Because we want to be competitive. We'll place it at the exact cheapest. So here we go. My inventor. We actually have it for sale. Let's cancel this right now. Because that is uh, currently for sale. But for the purposes of this video. We want to resell that. So let's cancel this now. It should happen instantaneously though. So as soon as we hit refresh, if it remembers what's happened, we should now have a beast charm of power in our inventory. It should still show total quantity one, but no items for sale. Let's hit refresh again. It's still there. Another refresh. It's still there. Here we go. One more. It's still there. Let's see. Let's look at the activities. Actually, the contract interaction has successfully happened, which means we, we've successfully canceled this. And there you go. It is now canceled. The item is not for sale anymore. That is great. And now you've got two buttons on top. So once you've withdrawn and head on over to here, as long as you haven't sold that yet and you haven't placed it for sale, for example, we're back here, go to your inventory. You'll go here and then you'll be able to sell this for whatever price, cryptocurrency you want, or gift it to whomever Ronin address of your choice you want to gift it to. And how many do you want to gift to, to that Ronin address? It's quite interesting. But for now, let's resell this. Let's go cheaper though. Let's go for 0. Point, we had it at 0. 0.03. Let's have it at 0. 0.028. And that's going to be our sale price. Press confirm. Press confirm from Ronin. Again, approvals if you haven't approved this yet. And just like that, the item is for sale. And that's how you sell your runes and charms in the Axie Infinity Marketplace. And that's us. Boom.